This is the first browser I have ever used that summarizes a page before I even ask. There are no pop-ups, no interruptions, no creepy data collection, just quite contextual help exactly when I need. So this is Leo, the first safe AI native browser built by the Norton team. This is not an extension, not a plugin. This is a browser that rebuilds the entire experience around AI, privacy, and calm productivity. Let me quickly show you how exactly it works. First thing first, you need to go to neobrowser.ai. This is the official website of Neo Browser. Just go there and after that, you can simply just click on this download Neo button. Once you click on that and then, and then you can download this browser for Windows and for Mac. Simply just click on download for Windows and then you can simply just download and install this browser on your computer. Once it will be downloaded, this is how it will look like. And here we got this search bar. And here we can just like write anything and you can add a link in here. Like I'm just going to add this link. This is a website, it's called Vibe.dev. So you can see I just opened this website and here there is an option for Neo Chat. I can simply just click on that and what it can do. Now you can just ask questions about this web page. So I can just ask this question. Also, you can see it has already created these questions based on this landing page. So the first question is what types of apps can be generated if I just click on that. And here you can see it has just quickly answered my question and it has answered this question based on the information which is provided on this website. Similarly, you can see it has already understood this entire website properly and now it has suggested some other questions as well. That is amazing. Now, if I want to understand anything on this website, I can just highlight anything and then you can see an icon pops up. This is the icon of Neo and there you can see there are two options. The first one is chat or explain. The second one is summary. So I can simply just let's suppose click on this explain button and if I just click on that and what it will do, it will just add this highlighted part in here and it already has context of this website. You can see it has already added this website as a context in here and now any part of this website, whenever I will require any information about any part of this website or any text on this website, Website, I can simply just click on this explain button and here you can see it has automatically described what exactly this text means. So because as soon as the website was opened, it already got all of the information about that website and it added that inside this context section. So now whenever you will ask any question from Neo about this website or whenever you will highlight any section on this website, Neo will explain that to you according to the context that it already understands about this website. Now watch this. If I just enter a query in here, let's suppose mobile app development platforms. If I just enter a query in here and now you can see it is presenting me some results. And now if I just like hover over any of these links in here. So if I just hover over in here, you can see the new icon already pops up and there are two options. The first option is to peek and the second option is summary. So if I just click on summary, so you can see it will again similarly, it will just explain the summary about this landing page. Based on the search query, Neo already understands what I am looking for. And based on that, without me opening this web page, it automatically gets me the summary of what exactly is being discussed on this link. Honestly, this is how browsing should be by default. Whenever we are looking for something or searching for something, so our browser should automatically understand all of the history, all of the tabs we have already opened. It should understand the overall context and the overall intent. So it can help us to search for things quickly and save more time. But this is not only what Neo does, it goes way more deeper and it acts like your native AI assistant who is there always whenever you need it for anything. So this is basically Neo's magic box, Neo's omni input. I can search, chat, run, actions, navigate, summarize, rewrite text all from one place. You can see if I just click on this snippet button or if I just like enter this command in here or if I just press this key and here you can see there is this option which is like summarize this, explain like I am five, pros and cons, background on topic, analyze author's perspective, improve my writing, fix my grammar mistakes, almost every single possible thing that you need in your day to day task. It can totally enhance your productivity without needing any third party tools. Now the next thing is your typing assistant. So this is built directly into the browser. I do not need any third party plugins. So let's suppose if I'm answering to an email, what I can do, I can just choose any option in here under this write section. And here I can choose maybe my improve my writing or maybe simplify my language. Or maybe I can just choose among these options, which is sound more professional. So I can just paste my email 
somewhere in here and after that i can simply just click on this chat button so you can see it has just made it more professional without me opening any third party website like chat gpt or gemini or anything else i'm actually doing all of my day-to-day -day tasks right here inside neo now let's suppose i'm responding to an email so neo helps me finish sentences improves tone clarifies my writing but it still sounds like me it is not like your generic ai response it is like my tone my style so all of my emails that i draft has my own style my own certain tone so the people who already know me who already understand my style they realize that it's me who's talking to them other than an ai chatbot let me just show you something more impressive and more fascinating and that's the configurable memory other ai tools and browsers collect everything in the background but neo doesn't it has the memory that you control so if i just tell neo that remember i am searching a trip to tokyo and instantly it appears inside memory section now i can control these memories i can see it i can edit it delete it nothing is hidden nothing is being tracked nothing is stored without me approving it so now when i browse travel blogs or hotel options neo quietly just brings the relevant context because i told it to not because it spied on me the next feature is smart tab grouping i open let's post 10 different tabs you can see all of these tabs are about some random stuff so what neo does neo automatically groups everything into the relevant categories this is the travel category this is the food category this is search category this is work category and this is general neo tabs so all of the work related tabs are inside this category all of the search related tabs are inside this category so unlike chrome you can see all of these different tabs are always opened in my browser whenever i am doing literally anything but with neo you can see it will automatically categorize all of these tabs into clean categories so there is no dragging tabs no manual efforts no chaos just an organized workspace that finally finally makes sense let's talk about neo feed which is my favorite part most browsers have like most noisy ad driven feeds well neo feed is completely opposite it's fully on device there is no tracking no ads no algorithm manipulation it, it simply shows helpful articles insights and topics based on what i am genuinely working on and none of this data leaves my machine now here's where neo becomes completely different from ai add-ons or traditional browsers which is privacy architecture shows neo shows exactly what's local and what's cloud every summary site sources when you clear data it's actually deleted not archived somewhere tabs are isolated in their own safe environments minimal retention zero shady logging this is norton level security backing an ai native experience now here's something cool for creators and power users neo can proactively help but calmly so let's suppose if i'm looking for some discount codes so what you need to do you need to simply just click on this snippet option and after that just click on this find me discount code and now you can just like enter what sort of products you want and then you can just enter the product for which you are looking the discount codes let's suppose in my case i am looking for web hosting i'm looking for maybe like hostinger vps plan so i'm just going to enter hostinger vps plan press enter and now let's see if neo can actually find some discount codes for hosting your vps and there you go you can see it has just shared this discount code that offers us extra 10 percent off on the hosting plans including vps hosting that's just amazing other than this let's suppose if i'm shopping it quietly pulls out promo codes or price comparison if i'm doing some research on some topic let's suppose in my case i'm doing research on wipe coding so now i can just like keep researching in here but i can also open this new chat and i can just like directly ask questions about the page that i opened in here and all of different pages that i've opened in this tab it remembers all of that context and even you can see it has just like suggested some questions in here so whatever questions i will ask it will answer me based on my current experience that i have just like open different websites and open different links it will answer me based on that okay you might be thinking what exactly is the difference between a traditional browser and this ai powered ai native neo browser so in traditional browser you get manual search tab chaos there is no memory and all of us are aware of the privacy concerns while in case of neo you get calm inflow intelligence visible memory that you can manage there is also smart tab grouping you get completely transparent privacy and a feed designed to keep you informed not overwhelmed this is honestly the first time an ai browser feels like it's on your side and the best part it's available now for mac and windows with mobile coming soon if you want to try it i will leave the download link below and also you can join neo's discord community where the team is super active with updates feedback sessions and feature previews if you have any further questions about neo just leave your comments in the comment section and i'll see you next video bye bye